Many of you know that I was off the air for two months this summer. I had a hysterectomy. Doctors removed an aggressive fibroid that was the size of a grapefruit. I had some pain during the height of the pandemic, but like so many other women, I just pushed right through it. So my message to you, listen to your bodies and don't delay your care. I'm eternally grateful to my gynecologist who knew there was a problem before I did. I'm lucky. So many other women suffer for decades and some almost even die. DJ Heat is at the height of her career. Rocking out arenas for the Washington Mystics and Wizards to spinning at stadiums worldwide. The 42-year-old DC native was even named one of Washington's TikTok stars with more than 8.6 thousand followers. But behind the music and infectious smile. I just pushed through the pain. That pain is caused by fibroids, non-cancerous tumors that develop inside a woman's uterus. This show in Australia when I was DJing with Maya, it was my first tour with her and, and this photographer got this amazing picture of me with the big, you know, crowd, you know, that, that lovely or uh, the tour photo that, that everybody dreams of having. And that every time I look at that photo, I think about how I got terribly sick after we got off stage. DJ Heat was first diagnosed with fibroids at 18. A doctor in college told her. And all she said was like, well, it's just going to get worse as you get older. I was like, are you kidding me? According to the White Dress Project, 70% of all women and 90% of black women will develop fibroids in their lifetime. Symptoms include painful periods, heavy bleeding, enlargement of lower abs, frequent urination, painful intercourse, lower back pain, and in rare cases, infertility. Because I almost lost my life behind it. India Blocker Ford is a 37-year-old mother of four in Southeast. She says she complained about her fibroids to her doctor for two years. It wasn't until an emergency trip to the hospital that she finally got help. When I got out of the car, my legs, they like buckled and I was like, God, please just let me make it to the front door. Her fibroid led to a pulmonary embolism, a massive blood clot that could have killed her. They were like, you know, you won't be fine until we get this fibroid out. So you could have a patient with a fibroid that's here, subseroso, and if it grows big enough, it'll start putting pressure on the intestine. It is unclear what causes fibroids, but research suggests genetics or hormones. Dr. Mildred Chernovsky is with the Center for Gynecologic Oncology and Pelvic Surgery at Sibley Memorial Hospital. My involvement with patients with fibroids is either going to be patients that perceive themselves to have a more difficult situation or know that they have a more difficult situation, such as larger fibroids or, hey, I bleed a lot. Or the doctor says patients who've had previous surgeries like myomectomies, a minimally invasive procedure to remove the mass. Other treatments involve birth control or drugs to shrink the fibroid. But for India and DJ Heat, removing the uterus was the only option. Your whole being is beautiful. Now Heat is using her platform to share her story and help other women advocate for themselves. So if a doctor tells you that and it seems to like shrug you off, especially like black women, like they don't take our pain as seriously. So go research, do like I did, find another doctor. Heat finally found a doctor who listened. Her hysterectomy is just a few weeks away. I'm ready to be this brand new DJ Heat. After this, y'all gonna see me doing cartwheels and flips and, and everything. So it's a whole new DJ Heat and a whole new you, Delia. Healthy and whole, and we're so glad you're back. Thank you. Best part of this journey is meeting so many other women, knowing that you're not alone, and empowering others to take control of their health. That's what it's all about. What about research? There is a proposed bill in Congress right now that would dedicate more money for research. You can learn more about the bill, and I've even linked some of the resources that I found helpful on all on our website. It's one of the things you do best, and that is advocacy. We're so glad you're back, Dee. Thank you so much. Thank you.